Whoa, whoa. You checked in yet? No one's allowed in without the boss's say so. Use the intercom. What is it? Oh, yeah? What's the password? Go on through. Don't do anything stupid, okay? No one's heard from Batter. Suspects he finally managed to get himself killed. <laughs> Batter was a long shot anyway. Always figured it'd take someone coloring with a full box of crayons to find us our prize. You the one with the password? Presume someone gave it to you because they thought you could be useful. Name's Roper. Now, explain to me why the hell you're taking up my air. I hadn't realized I was looking so much like a milk carton. Unless you've got real business, I suggest you get the hell out of here. Just a little band of friends, working together for the common good. Our common good. We call ourselves the Free Radicals, because that's what we are. Free. Now, you have any other time wasters you wanted to throw at me? Is that so? And why exactly would I do that? Sure you are. But if you know where your treasure is, well, then I'm all ears. <laughs> Barrel of laughs, aren't you? Now, you gonna tell me where this thing is, or are you just wasting my time? Damn right you will. But I'm a generous man. You bring me the location first, you'll get your fair share. Now get out. We'll be keeping an eye on you. Make sure you keep up your end of the bargain. Hey, Gen Pop. I smell? Wash these clothes three times. Still think they reek of mutant blood.
You're back. You managed to get those punks out of our hair yet? Oh, is that all? <laughs> I guess I should have specified how I would have liked this to be resolved. I suppose it's on both our heads to find this treasure then. But you did good. Shows maybe you could be trusted. Maybe. But there's still the issue of my missing muscle. They went out chasing some unsavory characters. Never came back. They're two of the tougher cookies I've met in my day. So them being gone this long means something happened. You track them down? Maybe I remember a thing or two about this crane fella. Well, missing person number one's named Polly. Got a transmitter in her. You could track her with your little radio there. Missing person number two goes by Saul. Those two are closer than toes and bad stilettos. So if you find one, the other's likely close by. Find them for me, and I'll pay you for the privilege of getting to yell at them in person. Not the foggiest, but that's where the transmitter comes in. Tune to her station and it should get you going in the right direction. Yeah, a little something I slipped under her exterior plate in case she got carried off. I did mention she's a combat bot, right? A friendly one. I got her reprogrammed when I bought her, so she's not gonna hurt you. Unless they bashed up her combat inhibitor. Well then, I'll bets her off. I made the same offer to Saul regarding the tracker under his exterior, but he declined. Go figure. They're called the Scorched. They're an unpleasant bunch, in character and appearance. They've got raw skin, with crystals sticking out of them. And they're still real handy when it comes to firearms and bludgeons. So you'll want to be careful around them. That's for damn sure. Appreciate it. Polly's tracking frequency is 99.7. The once proud home of Appalachia's smooth jazz. I figured someone should get some use out of it. Find out what happened to him. If I need to find new people, I'd like to at least ensure I tried to do right by the old ones.
Shoot! Of people! Hey, 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 hey! Tell me you got a stim pack. I'm hurting here. Oh, thank God. Thank you. Good to know there's still some heart out there. So, uh, you the cavalry then? Duchess send you to save our tails? Much as I appreciate it, I'm not the one who needs helping right now. You see, these, uh, scorched things have been harrying the bar. Me and my bot sis Polly got the bright idea to track down their nest and clear them out. But a couple of them got the drop on us before Polly chased them off deeper into the mine. I heard some fighting, but then, uh, nothing. I think she's hurt. Look, you've got to find Polly. I can't be the reason she... Look, just find her. Please. It's... Look, when you get Polly back, I'll walk you through every little detail of how I became best friends with the machine. But first, I need you to save her. You think you can do that for me? Thank you, thank you. Once you've got her, just bring her back to the Wayward. I I'll be there. And tell her... Tell her I'm sorry I couldn't be the one to save her.
Hey! Someone there? I could use a lift! You are a sight for sore eye. So, those things didn't get you, huh? You happen to see a young man on your way through? Early twenties? Rough around the edges? Carrying about a bullet's worth of extra lead in him? He's alive? Thank God, that's good to hear. So... What do you say you and I help each other out? You get me back to the wayward, and I'll help you bake to a crisp anything that bothers us on our way out the door. Never met an Assaultron before, huh? Probably for the best. That flashy red pearl in the middle of my face doesn't just complement my scintillating personality. It also happens to fire a multi-gigawatt laser. You pick me up, and give my next servos a twirl, I'll kick off a blast that would make Oppenheimer quote scripture. So, we blowing this gin joint? One too many of those crystalline creeps. I'll give them this. They may be hideous, stupid, ugly, bad-smelling, poorly dressed, tactically backwards, and overly forward with a lady. But they are fearless. Enough of them rushed me at once that it severed my neck bracing. And so the curtain rises on my current predicament. Now, are you gonna help me out? That's the ticket. Now, let's... You hear that? Sounds like those things have regrouped. How about we make them regret it? Point the way. Crispy now. <laughs> ashes to ashes and dust to dust.
So fierce, so flammable. finally corroded. Wet Cave really did a number on it. I'm not going to be much help now. You seem like somebody who appreciates resourcefulness. I know, I know, you're thinking, I've seen you before, right? You recognize this mug, don't you? Oh, my. We got ourselves quite a talker here. Well, that was very kind of you. I shouldn't expect everybody to know who I am after all. Ever since the war, I've been sort of scrabbling along, thinking of my books, making the best of it. I have enough time to write some more, and that's exactly what I aim to do. But in order to do that, I need a place to stay for a bit. And if you have a place, well, I would be happy to watch it for you, to tell you some stories. I'm a wealth of practical knowledge, kid. I think I just might. Maybe just for a short while. Enough to catch my breath and rest my bones. Set out a comfy chair for me, will ya? I need to pick up some of my things, and I'll be there soon. By the way, you can call me Gramps if you like. Everybody who knows me does anyway. Back at long last. But where's our girl? Did you find Polly? Saul was telling me what happened in there. You got a real knack for showing up at the right damn times. Oh, God. Polly? Whoa. You're not looking so great, darling. Duchess, I'm not feeling great. Friend, why, why don't you sit her down? Um, Jug should do the trick. This is real snug. That's not gonna do at all. Oh, Polly, This is all my fault. Solomon, no. Don't you dare. This is not... Uh, Duchess, tell me you emptied this out. Did I? You know, I'm 80%. Duchess? It's all right. I, I can fix this. There's a robotics shop over in Somersville that... Oh. Oh, oh. Solomon, you're going nowhere. Look, I'm sorry to even ask, but is there any chance you might be able to help us out here? I can make it worth your while. Find Polly this new body. I'll tell you everything I know about Crane and his treasure. Please say yes. Solomon, you had a spot in mind? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's this old robotics dealer over in Somersville. Duncan and Duncan. The, uh, the owners boarded it up, but it's possible to get back there if... if you know where to push. Oh, don't you worry there. Saul, you still got one of those trackers? Uh... 
<sighs> uh-huh. You tag the body with Saul's tracker here, I'll have my people collect it. Once it's safe. You are a lifesaver. Here, the tracker. Just plant that on Polly's new frame, and we'll handle it from there. And here. You'll need this to get into the place. Just leave it unlocked so we can come and get the body later. And make sure it's pristine. No damage, no reprogramming. Factory defaults only. I don't want anything going wrong in the transfer. And at the risk of sounding like a broken record, thank you. We'll all owe you big after this. If you got a minute, I've seen some wild things out here. You ain't heard nothing like what I'm about to tell you. Maybe half a year ago at a campsite, not far from here, I was cooking up a delicious brothy stew when I heard a disgusting clicking sound nearby. Now that vile sound, it, it grew and grew as the thing drew nearer and I, I began to stir my soup faster and faster in a, in a paranoid nervous frenzy. Well, then I saw a shadowy, twisted figure just beyond the forest edge. There was an unmistakable odor as a thick, pungent stench filled my nostrils. That's when I took off, as if possessed by a burning spirit. Well, I got away unscathed, but not before shitting my pants and spilling my soup, too. I reckon it was the Snallygaster, from what I've heard, anyways. Couldn't have been anything else. A terrifying creature of unknown origin. Some say it's not of this world. Others believe it to be the catastrophic result of a government experiment. Yeah, just be careful out there. You never know what you're gonna find. 